uh, it's spiking because um, Brandon shut down that pipeline and he banned drilling on public lands. The international scene is affecting it too, but it's not, uh, let's not forget, gas prices were out of control before the Ukraine call. 100%, it was, it was, it was going in that direction, right? And you can think about it as sort of a pendulum, right? If you remember two years ago when these globalists shut down the world economy, right? Gas prices went into the negative. You actually had to pay money to have somebody store your gas for you. It cost you money to store a barrel of gas. I think it went down to negative $20 or something like this, right? So negative, like it was a commodity that, that, was, that was a liability at that point. It wasn't an asset to have oil, right? That's what the numbers meant, right? Because what it meant was the global economy was being shut down and the need for energy was going to drop. So oil prices, where are you going to, how are you going to process this? Is oil coming? Is flood of oil, right? Went negative. And then stabilized around, you know, pop, pop, pop back up again in like a day or two or something like this because it was overdone. The pendulum went this way so far, right? And then it stabilized. Now it's on its way in the other direction. How far is it going to go in the other direction? The last peak was around $150, $160. We never went negative to get to $160 on the, on the flip side, right? This time we went negative, right? So how far is the pendulum going to go to adjust for that insanity, right? Mm -hmm. Right? So the first wave went whoop and then whoop right with in the 19 uh late 1990s um early 2000s oil was around i believe it was around 11 12 dollars in the low teens right and iraq war and all this jazz and it kicked up okay so think of it as a pendulum how far are we going to go